Kaiser's quality scores kept going up and up and up. And what they attributed to is a very prescriptive way of practicing medicine. If you work at Kaiser, it was evidence-based care guidelines. The EHR told you what to do at, at every step. And what was scoffed at initially became a very powerful uh, mechanism for turning something into a very high quality system. Yeah, this always gets into an interesting conversation about clinical decision support or, or CDS. And there are certain things, uh, so in, in my opinion, and I think good CDS is like the lines on a highway. Keep me in the lines, but if I need to, as a clinician in the moment, if I need to deviate, I'm not hardbound by those lines. I can cross over them in select instances. And so that's where you see a lot of pushback against things like interruptive alerts or hard stops. And you get more success with what I call the passive CDS, whether it's suggestions or visualizations or dashboards. And we're hearing that same thing around AI. I mean, AI is obviously a component of CDS when we talk about it. Read all the notes, go through them, look for the patterns, let me know the patterns because I'm going to be examining this patient. And you know what? I have to examine 12 other patients this hour. So just bring the things I need to know to the forefront and let me practice is essentially what we hear a lot. And when you hear this, the practice of medicine is an art or a practice of medicine is a science. The answer is yes, isn't it? I mean, it, 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 it really, it really is both. And when I go to a doctor, I, I, I trust them to not just go, well, I'm just following this. I go A, B, C, D, but to look at it and go, you know, I'm doing A, B, C, D, but based on my experience, my knowledge, my training, the, the reading I did last week from an article, I'd like to do something a little different with you.